Today, I'm going to show you how to make your ugly Discord turn into something a little more beautiful with your own input in it. Yes, we're creating custom Discord themes to an extent. To start off, you need to get the better Discord app, which is against the terms of service of Discord. What does that mean? You could get banned. You most likely won't. Don't be stupid, and you'll be okay. Click the download button, and once it downloads, you want to open up the installer. Once the installer opens up, pretend to read it, press the agreement button, and click next, then click install, click next, click the Discord version you have, click install, and once it's done, it should restart Discord. Once Discord restarts, you might have this ugly window pop up, you might not. All you need to do is exit off of it. If there's any errors, just click OK, that's completely fine. The main thing we are looking for is in the user settings, and if you scroll down, you should see the better Discord settings here. Specifically, themes, because we're making a theme. How do we make those themes? Perfect segue. You need to go to the second link in the description, and it's limeshark.dev slash editor. This allows you to pick any one of the seven, and it allows you to customize it up to an extent. So, for example, some themes work better than others. If I go to minimal cord and I open it up, you see that I only have access to four out of the five customization tabs. But if I go back and work on something like Neutron, you might notice that I have way more tab. Well, I have one more tab. You get the point. There's going to be more or less customization depending on the theme that you pick as a template. So I'm going to work on Nebula specifically. So to start off in the settings tab on the left, we have theme name and a whole bunch of other stuff in advertising. We don't need to worry about that right now. On the right, we have a preview on how Discord will look like. So this is kind of what we're focusing on. So to change it, we need to use the tabs on the left to change the stuff on the right. So to start off, the cog menu really doesn't do anything. That should be like the last step you focus on. You want to move on to the next section, which is background images. Now, this allows you to change your home button image, which is this button up here, which doesn't update with this website. But once again, once you actually install the app, it will update. Or you can change the background image to whatever you want. You can have a link to an image or a file from your computer. If you have an image link, you need to make sure that the image itself ends in .jpg, .jpg with an E, .png, or .gif. Now, the main thing here is that the link that you paste in needs to actually go directly to the picture. So if I paste it again, you'll notice it goes directly to the picture. You might be asking, why do I have a kitchen? Well, I searched up modern, and that was the first thing that popped up. So I'm going to paste that into the background image and click away from it. And you'll notice that does not look anything like the background I chose. And that's because we actually have blur and opacity options. So if you turn the blur all the way down, you'll notice it's actually the picture. And the opacity itself increases or decreases the brightness, technically speaking, because the background is black. Now, once you adjust the sliders to however you want, you can move on to the next tab, which is font. Now, you can change the font, but you need to use one that's available on Google Fonts. So, go to the link that's down here, and it'll open up Google Fonts. Find a font that you want. I'm going to pick the Laura font. All you need to do is select the font name itself, copy it, go back to the theme editor, and paste it into the custom font name. Now, once you click away, you'll notice that the font will update. On the next tab, we have colors. Now, this very much depends on which theme you're modifying. If you chose one of the different ones, it's going to work absolutely differently. The main thing to just kind of notice is that just mess around with the colors. And when you mess around with one of them, if you click off, you'll notice it updates. So how do you change the color? Well, you click on the little box here. It'll show up with a color picker. You choose something that you want, click away from it, and it'll update. So the last option that you may or may not have is background color. Now, background color allows you to change the opacity and the color of the image behind the photo that you uploaded. What does that mean? So for my specific case, I have the opacity at around 50%. So that means that 50% of the picture is transparent. It's kind of weird how to wrap your head around it. But the main point is that the color behind it is actually black. So if I change this to something like red, you'll notice that you probably don't want to use your eyes anymore. So feel free to mess around with this color if you really want. You can increase or decrease the color opacity, but the main thing it's changing is the tint. So I'm going to change it back to black and crank the brightness up to maybe something a little more tolerable, something like that. Now, for the final tab, we have add-ons, and add-ons allow you to add a little bit of custom spice to your themes. There are three specific add-ons that are available for every single theme, and some of them suck and some of them are good. Radial status is actually a pretty decent one. It adds a little circle around everyone's profile picture to show what their status is. Are they online? Are they idle? Are they on do not disturb? Which basically means please stop messaging me. I'm already filled with a whole bunch of DMs and I really just can't stand being on Discord anymore. Or it might say something like streaming and it'll show up with a ring around the person's icon. You can change the roundness by using this slider and you can change a whole bunch of other parameters. I'm gonna leave it as default because I like the way it looks. Next up, we have server columns, and if you enable it, nothing changes. 
And that's because the preview itself actually doesn't have enough Discord servers to fill up a whole row on the left-hand side here. And server columns itself, if you have like 50 bajillion Discord servers, it'll make it so that it actually adds another column of servers. So you could have like a huge grid of servers if you want. I personally would leave it out because I feel like it clutters up the screen quite a bit. And for the last add-on, we have horizontal server list, which makes the server list horizontal. It's pretty straightforward. And it allows you to increase or decrease the icon size and change the space between each of the servers. And once you've perfected it to exactly how you want it, where Chef will look at it and say, Ah, oh, beautiful. That is a fantastic piece of art. All you need to do is go to the settings on the top left, and you need to enter a preset name. So I entered a preset name, and I clicked the download button. And now it will download a theme.css file. All you need to do is drag this bad boy to the left, open up Discord on the right, click on Open Themes folder. Once again, that's in the Discord settings, Better Discord Themes and the Themes button. You get this window that pops up. You just need to drag the CSS file into there. You'll notice Discord automatically opens this bad boy up. Click the Enable button. And man, Chef's going to be so proud of me. I finally can make someone proud in life. So there you go. Now you have your own custom theme Discord. But let's say, hmm, I kind of want the old Discord back. Well, what you can do is go back to your settings, go back to Better Discord, go to Themes and disable it. What that'll do is just disable it. You could delete it if you want. You click Delete. And let's say you just want to rest easy at night, knowing that you will never get banned from Discord, except for the other things you do on it. All you need to do to uninstall Better Discord is open up the installer. So I already had it open, so I need to reopen it from my Downloads folder. Open that bad boy up. Once it opens, pretend you read the license agreement, press Next, click the Uninstall button, press Next, click on the Discord version that you installed it to, press on Uninstall, it will restart Discord, and when it opens back up, you will be free from all your sins, you will be purged and let into the heavens, aka Better Discord is not installed anymore. And that's it, that's how you uninstall your themes, and that's how you make Discord look beautiful, I just, I... Bill Gates, please accept me.